Do you still think that Donald Trump is repugnant? Did I say that? You wrote that a few years ago. It's still there me? online. Where is it? It's still there online. I don't know where In that's from. Post Do you, you wrote online. Me? Recently, Treasury Minister Darren Jones found himself in the hot seat as he was asked about a certain, less than flattering term he may have used to describe Donald Trump back in 2016. When asked about allegedly branding Trump as repugnant, Jones seemed genuinely puzzled. Did I say that? Do you want to show me? Where is it? I don't know where that's from. Did I say that? You wrote that a few years ago. It's still there me? online. Where is it? It's still there online. I don't know where In that's from. Post Do you, you wrote online. Me? Not exactly the reaction you'd expect, right? And it didn't stop there. The host was ready, pulling out a quote from Jones's 2016 social media post, which he may not have anticipated hearing again. So, in the post, Jones had expressed concern that, with a Republican candidate as repugnant as Trump, the political landscape was facing some deep, long-term challenges for the centre-left. Pretty strong words, right? Now faced with his past words, Jones responded diplomatically, stating the obvious. Well, look, it's no surprise that as a Labour Party politician, I support Labour sister parties such as the Democrats. Uh, all of us have commented on politics in the past. But what's very clear mm. is that President-elect Trump won very decisively in the United States. He won the Electoral College, the popular vote, the Senate, the House of Representatives. Jones continued, taking the high road on respecting the US election results, despite any previous feelings. And as a government, we totally respect that and we look forward to working with him and his administration. It seems Jones wasn't alone. Sir Keir Starmer, Labour leader, also had to walk back his previous statements after calling himself anti-Trump but pro-American just a couple of years ago. And let's not forget Foreign Secretary David Lammy. He's had his own bold opinions in the past, calling Trump a racist and KKK neo-Nazi sympathiser back in 2017. In fact, Lammy didn't hold back, even writing in Time magazine during Trump's UK visit that he would protest what he saw as the government's capitulation to this tyrant in a toupee. Strong words indeed. So, what do you think? Is this a case of politicians flip-flopping or just the reality of navigating complex international relations?